Hi. In this video, we'll compare the equals equals operator and the is operator. The former tests value equivalence, the latter tests object identity. Let's define two strings and compare them. So, string 1 equals How are you? String 2 equals How are you? Now first let's use the equals equals operator. S1 equals equals S2. And the result is true. Now let's use the is operator. S1 is S2. This time the output is false. So S1 and S2 are two distinct objects. This is why the is operator returns false. But they have the same values. So this is why the equals equals operator returns true. Now here we have two lists. List 1 equals 1, 2, 3. List 2 equals 1, 2, 3. Let's assign one list to the other. List 1 equals list 2. Now let's compare these lists using the equals equals operator first. List 1 equals equals list 2. This is true. And using the is operator. List 1 is list 2. This is true. Now, list 1 and list 2 are referencing the same object. So we have one object with two names, list 1 and list 2. We can use the operators also for other types, for example integers. Number 1 equals 1, 2, 5, 4. Number 2 equals 1, 2, 5, 4. Now, number 1 equals equals number 2 and number 1 is number 2. So, this is true. They have the same values, but this is false. These are two distinct objects. This also works for floats. Float 1 equals 41.324 Float 2 equals 41.324 Now F1 equals equals F2 and F1 is F2 True false So the same values, so it's true but these are two distinct objects so this is false this also works for dictionaries. So, dictionary 1 equals A3. B3. Dictionary 2 equals, well, actually the same. And now, Dictionary 1 equals equals dictionary 2. Dictionary 1 is dictionary 2. True, false. So again, we have two dictionaries with the same values, but which are two distinct objects. So dictionary 1 is not the same object as dictionary 2. And here's a more complicated example. Here we have list 1 equal to A, B. List 2, also A and B. And now we have list 3, which contains a sublist with A and B. 
and also it contains list 1 and list 2. And now let's say whether list 3 index 0, which means this sublist equals equals list 3 index 1 equals equals list 3 index 2. So now we're comparing this list to this list defined here and this list defined here. And this is true. They have the same values. Now let's use the is operator. So we can use this again and now replace the equals equals operator with is. Fine. And this is false because these are separate objects. So the three lists have the same values but they are distinct objects at three different locations in memory. But now let's have a look at booleans. Boolean 1 equals true. Boolean 2 equals true. Now Boolean 1 equals equals Boolean 2 and Boolean 1 is Boolean 2. True, true. This time B1 and B2 are at the same address in memory, which means they are referencing the same object. Why is that? This is because of interning. The two booleans, true and false, are actually numbers, 1 and 0 respectively. For such small numbers, interning works, so only one object is created in memory. Interning is a mechanism of caching small integer numbers and short strings for the sake of optimization. If you want to learn more about interning and which numbers or strings exactly are cached, I have a video about it, so feel free to give it a watch. And now here's another small number for which interning works. Have a look. Integer 1 equals 8. Integer 2 equals 8. Now integer 1 equals integer 2. Integer 1 is integer 2. Again, true and true. So not only do they have the same value, but also they are just one object in memory. And now a short string for which interning also works. So string 1 equals dance, string 2 equals dance, and now we have as 1 equals equals as 2, as 1 is as 2. True, true. So again we have just one object in memory because here interning also works. In most cases, we we'll want to compare the values, not the identities. So the equals equals operator will be usually the way to go. But if it matters whether we are dealing with the same object or with distinct objects, the is operator is the option to choose. Ok, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.